Appreciate it. Uh, Lili Fatih, please uh, restate your name for the records. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is Laylee Fadahi, and I'm a lawyer and have spent over a decade developing and advocating for robust governance and oversight approaches to complex policy issues that have significant health, economic, and social implications, including formerly as an academic researcher at the University of Minnesota Law School, Humphrey School of Public Affairs, and Center for Bioethics, where I spent the first half of my career. I'm also the campaign manager for Minnesotans for Responsible Marijuana Regulation, or MRMR. We're a statewide multipartisan coalition and campaign that supports the legalization and responsible regulation of marijuana for safe adult recreational use in Minnesota. MRMR steering committee and coalition members include former state legislators from both the Republican and DFL parties, Minnesota business owners, justice reform advocates, indigenous community leaders, civil society organizations like the NAACP, ACLU, community action, Jewish Community Action, and others, the mayor of Minneapolis, and a growing list of mayors and city council members from across the state. And we all urge you to support House File uh, 717. As we've been reaching out to diverse communities and organizations and affinity groups and policymakers from all corners of Minnesota, what has been evident above all else is that Minnesotans from all walks of life want to know more and want to be engaged more about what legalization could mean and what legalization could look like in Minnesota, rather than being subjected to the far less nuanced question of just whether or not we should legalize. For many Minnesotans, it's a matter of feeling that they don't have enough information or facts. They've seen other states legalize marijuana and generate enormous tax revenues that they've invested into their schools and public programs and infrastructure, but they want to know more about the impacts of legalization on public safety or health. And then still other Minnesotans feel that given the rapidly changing public opinion in support of legalization, that legalization is inevitable in Minnesota. And that if it's going to happen, we should make sure that it happens in a way that benefits rather than excludes Minnesota farmers, that keeps our children safe from being advertised or sold cannabis products when they're underage, and which maintains the safety of our roads, and certainly that redresses the disproportionate impacts that marijuana prohibition has had on people and in communities of color. And that's why today you're going to hear testimony and see letters of support from organizations that you've maybe never thought you would see a letter of support from in favor of something addressing legalization. Um, Minnesotans and Minnesota, I mean, Minnesota is ready to talk meaningfully about legalization, and we hope that you are ready to give them the forum and the opportunity to do so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jack Robbins. And Ben Fess will be next. Thank you. Please introduce yourself for the record. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Zach Robbins. I'm an attorney and a board director at Minnesotans for Responsible Marijuana Regulation, a newly created 501c4. I am here to support uh, HF 717 to create a task force to advise the legislature on legalization, taxation, and regulation of cannabis production, sale, and use by those 21 uh, and over. As a business attorney who participates in regulated industries, I'm contacted weekly by interested parties of varying expertise, backgrounds, race, income, from geographic locations across the state, and from very diverse political beliefs who all ask the same questions. When will this be legal and how can I participate? The answer to the first question is hopefully soon, assuming that this task force is approved. The answer to the second question, how can I participate, is more interesting, and that's why I'm here today to talk. That's because this new industry will touch so many fields, namely farmers, both uh, in the field operators and greenhouse cultivators, processors and extractors, contract manufacturers, retail brands, 
distributors, and retailers, or otherwise known as dispensaries. Not to mention those who benefit secondarily, such as real estate owners, equipment manufacturers, packaging companies, warehousing companies, transportation companies, and service providers such as attorneys, accountants, and consultants. This industry would produce substantial revenues upon launch. These revenues, both direct and indirect, will help ensure that our state residents have high quality paying jobs and keep us competitive with other states that offer a <laughs> regulated system. For these reasons and others, I urge the committee today to support this bill and ensure that Minnesota has a well planned out system to contemplate the safe sale of THC products to those 21 and older. Thank you. Thank you so much for your testimony. Ben Feist. Please introduce, introduce yourself for the record. Madam Chair, members of the committee, my name is Ben Feist. I am the Legislative Director for the ACLU of Minnesota. I'm also a steering committee member with uh, Minnesotans for Responsible Marijuana Regulation. The ACLU's primary interest in the area of marijuana regulation is driven by the issue of racial disparities. Our history of criminalization of marijuana has had a staggeringly disproportionate impact on African Americans and other communities of color and comes at a tremendous human and financial cost. Arrests and convictions for possessing marijuana can negatively impact public housing, student financial aid eligibility, employment opportunities, child custody determinations, and immigration status. A 2013 report from the National ACLU found that blacks are almost eight times more likely than whites to be arrested for marijuana possession in Minnesota, even though data shows that use rates are actually very similar. This was the third largest racial disparity in the United States uh, when all the states were looked at for that report. We ultimately do support the legalization of marijuana through a system of taxation, licensing, and regulation. However, getting to the right regulation for Minnesota will take a lot of work and, impact and input from many stakeholders. We acknowledge that this will be a lengthy process and in order to do this the right way, we wanna make sure that everyone is at the table. This bill goes a long way to making that framework happen and is certainly an important first step in moving our state forward in a responsible manner. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Feist. 